On Mondays this morning, Vanessa Feltz was criticised for spreading misinformation regarding celiac illness. Meanwhile, ITV was urged to formally apologise by a reputable charity. The 61-year-old anchor has come under fire for allegedly making irresponsible comments on the illness, which triggers an immune response against gluten-containing tissues. While Vanessa was on the show answering calls from viewers, Alison, a caller, complained that her mother-in-law was forcing her to have a gluten-free Christmas since she only wanted to accommodate one guest. Vanessa informed Craig Doyle and Josie Gibson, the co-hosts, that Alison has a 15-year-old daughter who is a bit of a fussy eater, in addition to reading the issue to them. Vanessa reported that Alison asked if it was okay if we brought our own food. Can we bring snacks in a box? No, she replied. She is treating celiac disease as though it's a kind of deadly, potentially fatal peanut allergy, and she's making them avoid all gluten-containing foods in the house, which is absurd. Then Vanessa gave advice, saying, That is not at all reasonable, Alison. However, the problem is, if you tell her, See, he can have gluten-free, we don't have to, it won't catch on. How is she going to respond? What kind of reaction can she expect? She'll tell me that I'm ignorant of the facts and tell me to research it, Alison shot back. But you're not, and she's incorrect. I mean, she's just categorically wrong about that, Vanessa continued, utterly incorrect. Although Vanessa informed Alison that she was 100% right about the circumstances, she also cautioned her that in order to maintain harmony, she would pretty much have to go with it. My opinion is that you shouldn't get into a fight with your mother-in-law over a small amount of gluten, but you should have a snack on the way there and pack something to eat in the car on the way home. Or not having gluten, she continued. Josie then jumped in to remind everyone that cross-contamination of gluten should be avoided by those with celiac disease. Vanessa responded, saying, But they don't have to have any cross-contamination, especially if they bring their own food from home, and her 15-year-old brings what he actually likes in the snack box would be perfectly fine. However, Vanessa asked, Do you really think it's worth falling out with her, digging your heels in, and making a big mountain out of it when it's only one day? Pretty much one meal? The piece incited viewers who have the illness right away. And Coeliac UK, an organization that supports those who must avoid gluten, quickly chastised Vanessa for her remarks. They tweeted the following, On X, the former Twitter platform, Coeliac disease was discussed during a phone-in segment on ITV's at this morning today. We are quite worried about the information provided to a caller who is going to a Christmas family gathering, where all of the food will be gluten-free in order to safeguard the health of someone who has celiac disease. With at ITV, we are actively following up. We invite you to read our open letter in the comments section below. We will also share any responses we get. We kindly request that you get in touch with this morning in the interim and ask them to apologize to the gluten-free community for spreading false information, and to work with Coliac UK to guarantee that they provide accurate information going forward. Additionally, they released an open letter to ITV in which they stated that they were deeply concerned regarding the advice given to the caller, adding that this letter of complaint was prompted by ill-informed advice and a dismissive tone towards Coeliac disease and its severity. They continued by highlighting the serious health consequences associated with celiac disease and asserting that Vanessa's trivialization of the illness was disheartening and detrimental to the understanding of this condition. They went on to say that the importance of the issue shouldn't have been downplayed by such a widely used platform. In the meantime, incensed viewers, some of whom are afflicted with the illness, claimed that Vanessa was dispensing bad advice and urged her to conduct further investigation. Oh dear at ITV at this morning seems to be falling into the modern trend of being adverse to the distribution of disinformation, some viewers said, accusing her of disseminating false information.
When did Vanessa Feltz receive her certification to provide medical advice?